Welcome to the engineering part of NeuroDrop. This is how we plan to automate the detection of biomarkers in small volumes. As you may know, the aim of NeuroDrop is to produce bacteria that emit light when they are in contact with a certain protein, which is the alpha synuclein protein in a proof of concept. The first step is to build a light sensor. For this purpose, we use a silicon photomultiplier which converts light into an electrical current. Basically, it works like any other silicon light detector. Photons get absorbed by the device and that generates electrons and holes. These particles are charged, so when they move, they carry energy. I suppose you already heard something about electrons. But what about holes? Not very too much. Usually, electrons are kept close to the nucleus and everything is balanced. But when the light hits, sometimes the electrons are kicked out of their place. That place is what we call a hole. It is not a particle, nor a thing. It is the absence of a thing. In this story, the silicon is like a friendly banker, which in exchange for some energy, allows the electrons to go away for a while. Now let's go back to our device. When it's off and there is light, the electrons and holes stay separated for some time, and then the banker knocks at the door and gets back the missing electron while heating up in the process. But when the device is powered, there is an electrical field inside the silicon. But so what? What it does is that it applies a force to this friendly pair. It separates one from another in a way we call drifting. Now the electrons go one way and the holes to the other way. But remember what I said? Moving charged particles create a current. So if I detect a current, that means some light is present. So now I have my light detector.